Hi, my name is Lise Colucci and I'm one of the life coaches at queenbeing.com where we help you to discover, understand, and overcome narcissistic abuse in toxic relationships. Do you wonder if a narcissist really loves you and if they can even love? If these are questions you've been asking yourself, hit subscribe and let's get started. So what is it to love someone? For most of us, loving is relating to someone and having concern for that person. It can be something like trying to see the other person's views and experiences and really try to experience and relate to it. We, when we love someone, we are attentive and we listen and we have respect and compassion. We support them through good times and the bad times. And we have acceptance. We have accountability within the relationship. We make compromises when we fight, we fight fairly, you know, things like that. Does any of this sound like your relationship with a narcissist? If the answer is yes, I'd be completely surprised. Usually people say the exact opposite of that when they're describing the relationship with a narcissistic person. The lack of empathy means they cannot relate through empathy and therefore a narcissist cannot care with empathy. While they may appear to love themselves, it's really a love of the delusion they've created about themselves. So it's basically their ego that they love. They often are even in denial of their own lack of self-love. Sometimes they think they have empathy and the narcissist will distort the way that looks while they are caring for it. That's where people get really confused and it happens a lot with covert narcissism. The narcissist lacks the ability to have real vulnerability within a relationship. That lack of vulnerability means there's no deep connection that can be had. A lot of people, including myself, have experienced this as a sense of loneliness within the relationship. A narcissist sees others as extensions of themselves, not as individuals. Basically, because of that, they love you like an object or a possession. They care about protecting the delusional reality of themselves, and you play a part in that. It's not you being you within a relationship in their eyes. It's you playing a role in their delusion. From your perspective, you're just trying to have a loving relationship. So it's really confusing. When you ask a narcissist, why do you love me? They usually say things like, I love the way you make me feel about myself. I love that you love me. Or they'll say something superficial about the way you look or things you did for them. Or they'll say, I love you. I just love you. And it has an emptiness to it. Or they say something like, I love the way you are when I say I love you because they're seeking supply. What have you heard coming from the narcissist when you've asked them why they love you? I think basically what I'm saying here is because of a lack of empathy and a lack of accountability within a relationship and the lack of the ability to be vulnerable because of a high need to protect the delusional egotistical world, a narcissist cannot truly love you in the way that you need to be loved. The idealization in the beginning is not love, it's love bombing. It's simply a narcissist enjoying the newness of someone who does not know who they really are. That someone, you, puts them on a pedestal as much as they put you on a pedestal because of the idealization and it's perfect for a while, right? As soon as things get real and challenging as any relationship will, when people are getting to know each other and getting starting to form a deeper relationship through boundaries, compromises, and willingness to accept one another's flaws, the narcissist turns on you and starts the devaluing. And you know, this can happen in as little as a week or it can take years. A narcissist's love is not the deep connected love that most of us need. They love out of a need for another person to feed them with supply about how wonderful they are. They love out of a need to control and possess another person. That's about it. Remember that none of this is about your worth. This is simply the way the narcissistic person loves. And while it's difficult to accept, it's important to understand. If you need any help with anything related to narcissistic abuse, head over to queenbeing.com where there's lots of information. And if you need coaching help, you can check out my information in the description below. You guys take care. Bye-bye.